Tú no tienes la culpa, mi amor, que el mundo sea tan feo. Tú no tienes la culpa, mi amor, de tanto tiroteo. Va por la calle llorando, lágrima de oro. Va por la calle brotando, lágrima de oro. My name is Rogelio Bautista. My mother, she cries her eyes out. My dad's eyes are red, but he doesn't cry in public. My brother Sergio cries too. My brother Ramiro, all he thinks about is revenge. They've had to send him to Mexico to cool off. Nancy Dobbs and Robin Pressman, um, the uh, CEO and the station manager, uh, they really wanted to have a teen component. They felt that the teens were not being very well served in the community. They didn't have a place to, to really have a voice. So that they, um, they put together the seed money with a lot of uh, very generous people in the community. And uh, they had a vision with Voice of Youth. I got started with Voice of Youth uh, because, well, it was a total accident. I never set out to be working with kids. I never sort of set out to be uh, the director of, of something like this. It was pretty much that I had been a correspondent in Latin America for four years. And as anyone knows, probably who's ever been a freelance correspondent, you go broke really quickly. Pretty much anyone feels at home here, um, whether you're considered the bad kid or, you know, the prep or whatever you're considered, I think that generally, you know, I'm so goofy that no one really feels that they're, you know, that they're too goofy. The kids are either at this point referred by friends and they are also um, hear about the program through presentations I do in class. I think we strive at all times to have an anthropological view on things, which really stresses the point of view of the native, as in the person who is in that world looking out, what does the world look like to you? There's certain things that I um, you know, demand that they know, like the basic Pro Tools editing, um, and that I would say it's especially stringent in the questions that they should be asking of any issue that they're looking into. Um, I don't want to hear, what kind of music do you listen to? I want to hear, so what music is in your CD? You know, I don't want to hear, what did it feel like when your brother died? I want to hear, I want to hear like, you know, what were the thoughts going through your head when your brother died? Took, we took about 11 kids to Baltimore um, for a teen radio uh, conference, which I think is amazing after just a year of existence. We take like the second largest group of kids from all around the country. It came about because we um, got uh, nominated for an award for one of our first stories about a guy meeting his girlfriend over the internet. It's the Golden Reel Awards of the National Federation of Community Broadcasters, you know, the Academy Awards for stations like ours. If uh, we had more support uh, from the community in terms of uh, funding, but also volunteers, that sort of thing, um, we could have a really robust monthly, um, maybe even weekly show that could syndicate at least to the area. I don't see why not. I mean, I know the quality is, I worked for National Public Radio and Public Radio International. I know the quality that they're putting out is on the level, you know, of, of, the, of that national level stuff. Black. My little cousin wants so glad to have someone to play with. He sees a casket where there once was a kid, and among loving memories and anger and sadness and questions, he's thinking of that saying we all seem to have been told. Tu vida es prestada, nunca fue tuya. Life is borrowed. It was never really my life to begin with.